Yo, 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 what is going on, real lovers? It's your man, Jay Emanuel, back with a new video. Today, y'all, I got sent this clip of a couple getting married, and people were all up in arms about the young lady, the bride, getting on her knees and confessing her submission to her husband during the wedding ceremony. Oh my gosh, she got people big mad. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Let's check this video out. Let's watch it together and see what the big fuss was all about. All right, let's watch it. I will become that woman that builds the home as I follow you, as you follow Christ. That is the only thing that we will do in our household. And I promise and I vow that in heaven they hear. <laughs> On earth I declare and decree I shall be a submissive wife unto you as we continue to do this work of God. Because to us, cheering? you know, this is beyond just love. This is about God. Mm. This is about kingdom. This is yeah. about our duty, reflecting to the world what true marriage, what God really intends for marriage to be. I honor you, Miles. And I love you with my all, <laughs> with all my heart. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, y'all. Yo, that right there. Oh, my goodness. That right there was major. Oh, man. I think first and foremost, just my immediate reaction. I think that's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. But, man, let's talk about what some other people thought about it, right? <laughs> because I, I tell you, man, the internet, y'all y'all are not shy about telling y'all thoughts and the way y'all look at stuff. So let me bring this first little tweet up. So one of the reactions, somebody say, yo, she is doing a bit too much. What do y'all think? Y'all think she's doing too much? I personally do not think the woman is doing too much. I, I could tell like she was really genuine to me, like at least to me. Like I, I, I can't say whether I not if she is, but to me, it looked like she was very genuine in regards to this confession that she was making, this declaration that she was making to her future husband. And I don't think that that's doing too much. It's doing too much to the world, right? But I think y'all as women of faith can look at what she just did and see the beauty in it. See, the world, they can't see that. Like to them, oh my gosh, you doing too much. Why? What, what, what's doing too much about a woman confessing her love for her man, letting her man know that, hey, before this thing is even official, before I even say I do, I'm going to let you know what. I'm willing to do is submit to your leadership. And the one thing that she said that stood out, and I'm going to run the tape back in a little bit, is when she said that, hey, this is about the kingdom. This is about God. Like, see, it's not about the world and all the people listening. Like, you could, she was, even though she was getting applause, like she was getting the whistles, everybody was reacting positively about her willingness to submit to her husband before. The I do's on the wedding is even a wrap. She's ready to do that. And I think that's beautiful, right? I also want to point out the fact that, yo, she was looking dead straight at that man the whole time. And that's the beautiful thing about it. She wasn't like, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all see me doing this? Y'all got the IG on? Even though it's being recorded. Like, I didn't feel like she was putting on for the cameras. But hey, some people think she's doing too much. Okay. Let's see what else they had to say. Okay, so we heard from a man. A man said she was doing too much. Now, check out what this woman said. This is not right. The maid of honor looks uncomfortable. The pastor looks uncomfortable. Even the groom looks uncomfortable. Where? Where Where? Where did those people look uncomfortable, man? Run the tape back and y'all show me. I didn't see nobody that looked uncomfortable, looking un uneasy, like there was something foreign going on. Like, I personally didn't see that. I didn't see no uncomfort, no discomfort, none of that popping off at all. But that's just me. Let me know what your take is. Goes on to say, being submissive is in the actions displayed by the wife in the marriage. Why, why can't it be before? I agree. I agree that, yes, true actions of submission should be displayed in the marriage. But they ain't in the marriage yet. They haven't got there yet, but what she's doing is giving her husband a precursor of what he can expect. Now, this could backfire if once they are in the marriage, she don't live up to this. Then it's like, yo, you was a fraud on your wedding day, ma. Like the fact that she went all out, this is like, it reminds me in the Bible where they talk about, you know, you shouldn't declare something holy or make a vow if you ain't willing to live by it. Like it says, it's better for you not to even do it. That's how I feel in this situation. Like if she has no intention of being submissive to this man, why go through all of this? 
Why do all that? Why be all extra? Why, why get down on your knees in front of everybody during your wedding ceremony and tell your husband that you are going to submit to him? Why do that? Like if you don't have the intention of doing that in the marriage. Now, I totally agree with this person that the actions that will be displayed in the marriage, they are always going to speak louder than these words, even these beautiful words that she just spoke. So I, I give the person credit where it's at. She goes on to say, no need to kneel down during the ceremony. She is so beautiful. Yeah, she's very beautiful bride. And some people feel like she don't need to kneel, man. Like, I'll be honest, when I first saw it, that did kind of throw me off a little bit. Like, oh man, like why is she now here on her knees? But I feel like it gives that dramatic effect, right? I don't think she needed to necessarily be on her knees to deliver that message to her man. But oh my goodness, doesn't it make such a more powerful statement? Seeing a woman on her knees talking to her man and not in some like he's lording over me, he's controlling me, but like, yo, she got the biggest smile on her face. She happy to be in that position for this man. I think that's beautiful. Somebody else, once again, she didn't have to get on her knees with all due respect, right? Like, no, she didn't have to. She chose to. And that's the that's what y'all got to see. Ain't nobody make her get on her knees. The man didn't make this woman get on her knees and do all of this. She chose to. Ain't, ain't y'all always ripping in the world and in society about a woman's choice? Like, how y'all mad now that a woman is choosing to be submissive to her husband? Y'all, you can't have it both ways. Like, what's wrong with a woman choosing to do what y'all in the world wouldn't do? It's nothing wrong with a woman of faith acknowledging that she's read the word. She know what the word says about a wife's role and a husband's role. And she's willing to show and display that before the world and her husband, her future husband. So it's her choice, right? Y'all, 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 y'all be so serious about a woman's choice. But then when a woman chooses to do something honorable towards a man, now it's a problem. I don't, I'm not saying that about you, but I'm talking about society and the world at large. I think you as a woman of faith can acknowledge the beauty in this incident, the beauty in what this woman is doing and how honoring it is not only to this man, not only to their marriage, but to God. Man, it's beautiful. So then we got another one. Somebody else had the nerve to say all jokes aside, her video, oh no, no, my bad. I said they had the nerve to say, I thought this was a negative one. My bad. This one is actually positive. It says, all jokes aside, her video isn't cringe. It's not. I didn't cringe. Like the other person was talking about all these people being uncomfortable. I wasn't uncomfortable watching it. I didn't feel like none of those people that were present there were uncomfortable watching it. Like why would people in the audience be, uh, you know, applauding and whistling if they felt uncomfortable? Like not. Nah. Goes on to say, I could do without the kneeling, but her speech was perfectly fine. They both look happy and good luck to them, right? So once again, I don't know what the deal is with people and her kneeling. Like I, I feel like society has programmed people to feel like, yo, a woman should never even ever be in a position where a man is towering over her or he's in a position of power, God forbid, over her. Like, Bro, get over it. Get over it. This is this woman's choice. Ain't nobody force her to her knees. And like, that's my main thing, right? So even though this person could have done without the kneeling, guess who couldn't do without it? She couldn't do without it. And that's all that matters. Next one says, excellent. Like, why are they so triggered? I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Why are people so triggered about this? And she goes on to say, just because she decided to kneel, don't kneel if you don't have to. Right. If you don't want to kneel, you ain't got to kneel. This woman chose to kneel and it's not a problem with it. So let's keep moving. Another one says, stop worrying what this lady did on their wedding day. Right, right. It's their wedding day. They decide what they do. The same way that when people do ratchet stuff on their wedding, ain't nobody, ain't nobody saying nothing. If you want to do ratchet stuff during your wedding ceremony, let the world do their ratchetry. But when somebody wants to do something honorable, do something in display of their understanding of God's word and the role of a wife and a husband, like let them be, let them do their thing, man. And I feel like it was beautiful. Personally, goes on to say, if not you, it's not you marrying her. Let them be great. Right. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Let them be great. And this is the last one. This is a great woman right here. Miles better be a great husband, father and leader. Right. Perfect one to end it on because I agree. I think that if a woman 
is if she lives up to these words, if she lives up to these actions, then yeah, it, it definitely puts a responsibility on this man to live up to what this woman is willing to do, submit to his leadership in their marriage. Now you got to lead, man. Now you got to, you got to step up to the plate and be willing to do what's necessary to be there for that woman, be there for your family. And that's not to put any undue stress or strain on the man. I think that it's a man's obligation, a husband's obligation to take care of his family and to lead them right. Even more so for a man of God to do so in an honorable way towards his wife, in an honorable way towards himself, in an honorable way towards their union, their marriage, and most importantly, an honorable way towards God. But man, that's my take on this whole situation. I would love to hear y'all thoughts, man. Do you like what this woman did? Do you take offense or feel some type of way about her getting on her knees? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you like to. But man, I am so glad to be back, man. Right to real love. We getting it cracking. It's back on, baby. I'm super excited. If you are a single woman and you are hoping that your future husband comes along, one of the main ways of seeing that it happens a lot faster than, than it may be happening for you in a moment is to begin praying for him daily. And if that's something that you're interested in doing, definitely check out the prayer book that I co-wrote. It's called Manifest Him, Prayers for Your Future Husband. There is a link in the description and I'll have it pinned in the comment for you to check it out if you like to. But that's all we got in today's video. Until next time, I love y'all. Stay blessed, live, and love life. Thank God for another video. Deuces!